All right, welcome back. Are you watching a Thirsty Thursday edition of Liquid Lunch on Biz TV? You know, we kick it around, we fool around, we have some fun, we look at the lighter side of things. Um, but I am absolutely incensed that this governor of New York State says it's okay for MTV to have some award ceremony in New York City, but at the same time, we cannot have the proper memorial and let the folks whose family members perished the first responders who ran into the buildings when they're burning and collapsing, they can't get up there and hear the names of their loved ones, speak to them. This is an annual thing where people get together as part of their support group, okay? I'm going to talk about this a lot. I'm going to talk about it every day, and I'm going to try to find as many allies as I can to change this moron's mind. And a great ally of mine and Liquid Lunch joins us right now. George Santos is with us, and... Um, he was with us pre-COVID. Uh, he was with us when he was uh, positive COVID. And now he's uh, no longer COVID, but he's still pounding the pavement every single day um, to bring New York's 3rd Congressional District back to the Republican side. Uh, George, thanks for joining us again. All right. New Thank York you. City. Thank you for having me. This is your Congressional District. What are you going to do to make some noise to get Governor Cuomo to change his mind? Let's put it this way, um, and, and, and John, as I, I heard you say it, I can't believe that that's the reality that we're living in, that I have to hear somebody actually say that the 9-11 memorial is canceled. The same memorial where many New Yorkers, Long Islanders, uh, even New Jersey and Connecticut residents perished, um, first responders, uh, law enforcement, everybody, you know, people working the towers and media people, everybody just perished, and, and to... to, to I get emotional. My parents were both down there uh, the day of the attacks, and uh, fortunately, none of them passed. Um, but to, to see that the families of those who lost their loved ones will will be recused from having a ceremony, which, like you said, is part of their support group, taken away from them, just strikes to me as a very foolish attempt of Cuomo and the left trying to erase that history, that very recent history that a lot of us saw all of us alive, most of us alive today saw millennials inclusive. I was 14 at the time. So to see to see that, that to me is just now they're they're pushing, you know, a little bit too hard. And at the same time, to see them approve an award ceremony that gathers thousands be approved because apparently celebrities are immune to COVID or they're very special and they know how to protect themselves better than the average Joe or, you know, the, the wife or the husband of fallen um, uh, uh first responders in 9-11. So uh, I don't know which one it is that uh, Governor Cuomo is trying to tell us, if that the celebrities know better, if he knows better, or if we're just not that intelligent enough to social distance and keep ourselves safe. So George, which one is Governor? Georgie, if you think about it, okay, um, you know, everybody's behind this Black Lives Matter movement, okay? And I say it all the time. If I said to you, George, hey, Black Lives Matter, man. And you'd say, yeah, of course they do. When you put a hashtag in front of it and you put it in all caps, um, now that movement is not something I can agree with because the people who founded it are on the record Marxists. They want a Marxist, they want a Marxist society, they want to break down the nuclear family, they want the man out of the household. These are all the things that our country was founded on, okay? And one of the things in there in this, you know, Marxist manifesto is the elimination of individuality. They don't want people to have individual uh, expression, individual choice. And it's strange that we can't, we can have a ceremony, but they can't read the names of the folks and identify them as people. Um, but they're going to be allowed to read the names of, you know, criminals, drug dealers, gangbangers to get their MTV awards. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's like a tale of two cities, literally. Well, it's it's pretty much you, you nailed it. You know, one of the most praised individuals in the world, right? Or in this country, I'm sorry, uh, is Jay Z, which was a drug dealer, a criminal. You know, okay, he he cleaned up his act, he did good for himself, whatever. That doesn't that doesn't dismiss the fact that what he sings or raps, whatever you call that art of his, uh, he 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 pretty much is an advertisement for upholding. I come from the streets. I, I, I hustled, you know, I, I shot, I this, I stabbed and I, I was in a gang. He, he, he makes that, he glorifies that along with all these other rappers that are going to be, you know, joining in together in, in, in the ceremony. And meanwhile, we're taking and silencing the voices of those who actually lost people who are good people 
who on September 11, 2001, didn't know they were going to run into the two tallest buildings in Manhattan and it was going to fall on top of them. These men and women died trying to save the lives of other people. And to have their families not be able to mourn that, it's, again, and, and it goes against our American value. This is the First Amendment right. We're, we're, this is unconstitutional to stop something like this. So I think Governor Cuomo should start, we should have an investigation open against Governor Cuomo, Mayor Bill de Blasio. It's funny, yesterday Bill de Blasio went on record saying, I can't tell you whether I'm going to, and I'm paraphrasing and not verbatim, but he said something along the lines of, I can't tell you if we're going to open schools or not in September, because I can't make a decision for something that will take place in September. And here but, comes the governor and says 9-11 is not going to happen, and he endorses it because he agrees that it's dangerous. So how is it going to be dangerous in September to have the 9-11 uh, memorial? And how do you know that so far in advance? You said you couldn't tell us about schools that far in advance. It's a double speak. They speak out of both sides of their mouth. And then, again, in my opponent, Tom Swazi, he's another one that just pretty much is a, as silent as they come. Black Lives Matter is an issue and an existential threat to my district um, where vandalism is going up, which is historically was never an issue, but the North Shore of Long Island and South and Northeast Queens, which is usually a very calm area, has become pretty much, you know, stopping grounds for these very violent Marxist, non-peaceful protesters. You know, not everybody understands. If you want to protest uh, civil rights, liberties, whatever, look at John Lewis, who just passed. You know, he had a history of non-violence and, and protesting, hands in your pocket, you know, and that's not what the, that's not what these guys are doing. They're burning down buildings. They're burning down stores. They're looting. They're, that, that's not protesting. That's disgusting. That's destroying America. The same people who said that Trump would destroy America are doing it themselves. So that's the society we're living in now. And the way to excuse it is they put a hashtag in front of caps letters that spell out Black Lives Matter. Right. And, and it takes uh, it takes a perfectly uniting statement and turns it and weaponizes it into a front for a Marxist organization. Um, if you click on Black Lives Matter, you click on their donate button, it takes you to another page called Act Blue. Um, yeah. And if you look a little deeper into Act Blue, Act Blue has given over a billion dollars to Democratic candidates. They spend most of the money in there for all kind of liberal causes. They give to Planned Parenthood and AACP, all the big liberal causes are supported by Act Blue. So, do Black Lives Matter, or does hijacking a great problem being highlighted into a fundraising effort for left wing anarchists? Because that's what I'm yeah. saying. Oh yeah, no, Act Blue, Act Blue is the democratic platform for donations for their candidates where, you know, their, their service fee and, and for everybody watching, they don't understand this. So you make a donation to Dems, you know, let's say a hundred dollars, Act Blue keeps a percentage of that. And then what they use that money to do, which is ultimately the DNC uh, does that is distributed into all these organizations such as Planned Parenthood and, and Black Lives Matter and whatnot. So it's, it's, it's the perfect uh, finance collection mechanism for for to promote anarchy marxism and and ultimately socialism um these these people are clearly spelling out and screaming and and some people don't see it that they want the united states to become a communist society and so long as i'm alive i will fight go to jail if i have to to keep this country a free country free market and capitalist nation this country will not be a communist or a socialist country. It's not, not under this generation's watch. I know that we're too good of a country to, to ruin it. Look at Cuba and all these other, you know, shift holes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, Georgie, um, talking about, you know, Act Blue doing all this fundraising, I'm sure you need help with fundraising. So I want to remind uh, our audience out there, George is always there for us. And uh, if you want another Republican in the House that's going to... Uh, support our president, um, you got to go to georgeforny.com, right? Is that, that's the website where yep. the donate button is? Um, you yep. can learn a heck of a lot more about George, um, but go to georgeforny, georgefornewyork.com. Uh, if you like what you see, you know, make him a contribution and, you know, put a sign on your lawn. If you're out there in his district, do something to help 
because we need to take back the house, among other things. But you're always there for us. Um, Janet is the best. You got the best advocate out there. She's on she's the great. show every day, and she's she's just awesome. And uh, so great. are you, my friend. Keep up the good work. Thank Keep you. fighting the good fight. He was out there last week with 3,000 people um, back in the blue. So if you want yep, guys from law and order, order, guys who want to fund the police, guys who want to have the 9-11 families get the proper respect, you got to go vote for George Santos. All right, we're going to take a quick break right now. We're going to come back with uh, Scott Labedo, who's in a uh, mano y mano brawl right now with Mayor DeBozo. We'll take a quick break, come back right after this.